So the other day I had the Boya Toad Runner. I bought it brand new. It comes with an extra little tail replacement when you need to replace the tail. Within a half a dozen casts, I snagged the damn frog across the pond on the other side of the tree on private property and I lost my lure. I was like, gosh darn it. What am I gonna do with this? This one extra tail. Well, obviously I'm gonna use that tail to make another homemade style toad runner. Before I jump into the tutorial for you guys, let me show you guys two short clips right here. And in fact, I'm just gonna talk over the clips. I have caught some awesome fish using these homemade lures, catching some snakeheads and catching some bass. But I'm not telling you guys to go out there just to make your own. But sometimes when you have like leftover frogs like me, who have like a frog legs that got bitten off by snakeheads or me being an idiot putting frogs inside a bag or tackle box with other plastic and the silicone legs melted off and then now you have a extra tail laying around you know extra tail from a toad runner what the heck am I do? I'm gonna make a lure go catch some fish as you can see the, from these clips it's been very effective and I caught some nice fish now the lure is not perfect because I used the Boya Pad Crasher body it kind of rolled around here and there, but if you slow roll it enough, it doesn't flip around and it's still gonna catch some fish. If you guys find a nice frog body that I could use that doesn't roll over, let me know because heck, they do sell at Tackle Warehouse uh, replacement tails for the <laughs> Toad Runners because they do sell the replacement. You could be like me, you could make your own, or you could even get like paddle tail swim baits using some of those owner, those uh, screw locks. Perfect tails to make these prop frogs, man. All right, let me just jump to the tutorial because it is relatively easy. Okay guys, for this project, you're gonna need a frog. And I got this way up pad crasher that I have lost the legs due to putting in a box with other plastics. So I yanked it out, put some glue on it, some silicone and sealed it up so that water doesn't go into it as quick. And um, it works pretty good. Catching bass, I'm sure it catch great snake heads as well because it's shorter. And this is gonna be a perfect frog for me to use today to do this project. The next main ingredient is obviously the tail. This is the tail of the Boya Toad Runner. And <laughs> again, the reason why I have an extra one of these is because when you buy one of those Toad Runner, it does come with one, but you can actually buy these separately, replacement parts from uh, places like Tackle Warehouse. It comes in two different sizes. And yeah, because I lost my Toad Runner within 10 minutes, of uh, putting it on, I have this extra one and it's gonna be a perfect, perfect homemade tackle frog, toad runner frog using this tail here. Cause you guys see this right here? This thing, uh, this little wire here keeps this thing nice and strong. Next thing you really need is just a snap swivel, but I only have swivels, which uh, is focus here and snaps separately. I made my own, okay? So I have uh, this here, VMC, This I use this for like my lightweight stuff, fishing BFS stuff. And check this out, crop swivels. These are stainless steel swivels that are super duper small, but dude, 70 pounds. Don't need it, but you know, you just need a small swivel, okay? So let's install this. And uh, the last thing you will need is some braid line. I got 20 pound braid line, doesn't matter what brand. Let's get to it. So these snap swivels are amazing because you just unsnap it one time. And then it's the second time because there is another one right by the handle right there. You can see right there, it focus properly. Then you push this thing back into together after you put the swivel in, snap, and boy, yeah, there you go. And then you put this last guy right through here, just like that. And now this thing should be spinning like crazy. Look at that. Spinning like crazy. Next thing you want to do, take your braid line. I got 20 pound test line. At first, you don't want to go cheap, so you want to just you know, cut a little extra line. Then you double up. And that, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do here. It's very simple. You need to gauge this spot right here because this thing got to be right in here, right? And um, you want it to tail to be just about, just about here, okay? Because it needs to go back a little bit. The tail go back just a little bit and it should be right around here. So we're going to make the knot approximately right around here. So you tie your knot, overhand knot, after you double up the braid but you don't cinch it down all the way yet. And then you adjust the loop to where you need to be. Again, you just remeasure. And once you get to where you need to be, then you pull it tight, just like that. Okay, 
Trim up the trim off the excess. All right, just stick your braid through the swivel, one eye, one end. Okay. Then you open up one end, just like that. Pull the other hole through, and that's secured. See that? Now the next one, next step is pretty easy. You just take the same thing which just did earlier, just like that. See the loop? Stick the tail through, just like that. Boom! Look at that. Now this, to me, it feels a little long, so I'm gonna readjust. And how you can readjust is very easy. You just pull that back. See how you're pulling it back right here, just like that. And you just tie another knot. Okay. If it was done properly the first time, it wouldn't have, you didn't need the second step. It's because Jimbo is being an idiot. There we go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Like I said, it's very easy to make. You guys could Frankenstein your lures together. If you guys have any spare parts. Now, I'm not telling you guys to go ahead and make your own fresh out of the bag. Heck no. The Boya, um, and I hope the Boya Toad Runner is actually an awesome, uh, awesome frog for everyone to use. But I know the Teco Sprinkler Frog, the original of this whole prop frog, it's, it's a killer lure. I love the Tekel lure. So make sure you guys support Tekel. They got some awesome lures. Like the honker. I've been catching a lot of fish with the honker. Just like snakehead fishing, bass fishing. It's so much fun using their type of frogs. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, catch a lot of fish. Let me know if you guys Frankenstein some lure together and caught some awesome fish in the comments below. Peace out.